One thing I like to do is these slate coasters because they can look really cool. And I really like to use this specific thing because it's pretty detailed and sometimes it takes quite a while. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that started. And here we go. I expect this to take a minute, so we'll just go ahead and jump to that. I know it's not the easiest thing to see here, but it did all right on my first attempt. Um, I wanted to go deeper. I'm gonna run the same setting again, and then I'll try different settings on another piece, but it sort of comes through. Now, one thing you can do to make it pop better is, let me step over this box, is if you spray the coasters first with like a clear matte, um, I think it's like an acrylic or something, but it's just Rust-Oleum. It's this clear mat and it'll pop a lot better, but it's like 34 degrees and the garage is maybe 40. So, you know, it wasn't gonna dry any reasonable amount of time. So I didn't mess with that, but that's a really good pro tip for those uh, slate coasters and stuff. You just give it a nice even coating of that, let it dry. And then when you laser it, it looks a lot better. Um, you just get much more vibrant like lines and stuff. Um, Obviously, the coaster is going to be a little bit slicker, but, you know, these are mostly for decoration and stuff anyway. Just like conversation pieces. So let me run this again at the exact same settings and see if we can get it a little bit better. And then we'll try um, some different settings to see if we can get like a nice, really deep, good looking um, attempt. It might be a little bit too busy of an image for something really deep, but hey, we'll experiment and we'll find out. That definitely looks like it came out better. Let's move over here into the light. See if we can get it to focus. Yeah, you can see some depth in there. I don't know how well it's coming across on the camera, but that is very nice. And I quite like that. Let's go back in the shade over here. Yeah, that has some decent texture. I am really happy with that. This is the best one I have ever had churn out. Um, wow, that's great. Let me try some different settings. I'm gonna do the same thing again, and we'll kind of uh, take them into better lighting and compare the two. Oh yeah, I think I'm onto something now. So here's the one I did previously, and I did the two passes on. Now this is one pass of this one, and I really, really like that. Let's pick this up here for a second. Yeah, it's about as deep, but it's got a nice, oh man, there's a crack in that one. That was already there though, probably. It's, uh, it's about as deep as the other one, but it's got that nice, like, grayish, whitish, so it actually pops. Now, had I sprayed that with the uh, Rust-Oleum uh, matte acrylic, or matte clear, it would have looked exactly the same or, or close enough. But yeah, you could just do that on its own. And notice there is a ton of rock dust that comes up off of this from the slate. So you definitely want to do this in a well-ventilated area. Um, I've got the garage door open. I really should have a fan blowing air that way. Uh, you could also just wear a little bit of PPE. Definitely not the kind of dust and stuff you want to breathe in, so keep that in mind. I might do this inside or something. I know a lot of people do this inside, but just for my own sanity, I like to do it in the garage and, you know, have adequate airflow. And, and normally I'll have a cross breeze growing with that door too, but uh, not today because I've been going inside and leaving this somewhat unattended. Um, I am watching it with a camera though, so if anything happens, it's right there on my monitor and I can just rush right out here. Take me three seconds to get here. But yeah, I'm really happy with that setting. Um, I, I won't even tweak that any. I will, if I remember, I will include links to where I got the file settings for this. Um, it's kind of like a community database and you can get access to it real easy. It's a great website. They also have like uh, laser training files and stuff and you can check that out. Um, if I don't remember to put that in the video and you see the video and wonder where that link is, just see in the comments and I'll get it in there. But yeah, that's been the coasters. Like, I'm really, really happy with that on Slate. Um, I have a brick that I want to try with these settings and see what happens. I don't think anything's going to really happen, but we've got this gray brick and this red brick here. Uh, I want to see what I can try on those. 
yeah, you can see brick dust coming right off of that. So again, definitely something you want to have good ventilation for. And again, I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. This is that granite setting. Just as I expected. Not really a great candidate for lasering, although it did kind of put it on there some. But yeah, uh, that one's going to be exactly the same. It's just dyed different. But that's been doing slate and stuff. Um, I, I just love how those two turned out. Like, I thought the first one was great, but then I did the second one. That just, that came out so nicely. Like, definitely the best I've done yet. Um, this is on a different machine. This is on a diode machine. And there's like barely any depth there. That has actual depth. It's just, I love it. Now, in the future, I plan to do some brass in this. Um, I have some solid brass challenge coin blanks coming. I want to play around with that. And then, yeah, like maybe some leather. I have some leather around here somewhere over there in that box. Just give that a go. Maybe, you know, play around with it a little. And yeah, I like this thing, this 100 watt laser. Um, it's that Monport GA. You know, it's got the autofocus and everything. I'll have links to it in the description and sticky comment, but uh, it, it's just such a nice machine. I've had two 20 watts and they just pale in comparison to this. This, this 100 watt is freaking amazing. I, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.